Yo everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my first favourites of 2023, my January 2023 beauty and skincare favourites. There have been quite a few new releases in January and quite a few of them I've been loving a lot. So I'm going to first start off with foundations. Neither of these are new but they are what I've been loving. The first one is the Too Faced Born This Way Matte 24 Hour Indetectable Super Long Wear Foundation. My shade is in Golden Beige. That's actually nearly finished just down there because this is over a year old now. I love the way that this gives a nice medium to full buildable coverage on the face. It keeps your face completely matte. The reason why I generally tend to reach for this more in the winter months over the summer is because this is actually the perfect shade for me in the winter when I'm at my playlist and I'm at my super playlist right now, which is why I'm generally using it. If it was a good match for me in the summer, I would use it in the summer as well because I don't find that it shifts around on the face, it doesn't move around, it doesn't transfer that much either makes my skin look absolutely flawless but unfortunately it's only a winter thing for me i would personally say this is one of the best foundations on the market and i'm really happy with this another one that i've been loving so much to the point where it's nearly finished now is the estee lauder double wear foundation and my shade is in 3w 1.5 fawn now as i've mentioned in the past because this is probably the only foundation i've ever come across that actually lives up to that transfer proof claim i've been wearing a lot of scarves recently i've had my earmuffs on so i've had to have a lot of my face covered now i didn't have to worry about my foundation coming off because i was using this one here that is the reason why it has been around for so many years and continues to be a bestseller you get lovely medium to full buildable coverage on your face it doesn't shift it doesn't move it doesn't crack it keeps you looking flawless but still natural at the same time the anastasia beverly hills magic touch concealer my shade is in number eight this is the perfect brightening shade for me to use under my eyes i love this because it is so full coverage i'm actually wearing it right now and obviously i'm on my way for a night out and i know that this will last pretty much throughout the night now i do have to say that in the summertime it does crease a tiny bit but i don't have that kind of issue in the winter I love that it doesn't cake under the eyes it doesn't make me look aged it makes me look nice bright and awake but obviously that is down to the fact that that is the color more than anything else however I don't find that it moves it doesn't make me look crepey and aged under the eyes and that's the reason why I love it so much another concealer that I've been continuously loving ever since it came out and I have shared it with you quite a few times is the born this way ethereal light illuminating smoothing concealer from Too Faced my shade is in biscotti and butter croissant because one is too light one is too dark so i mix them both under my eyes for the perfect brightening under eye shade this has got medium coverage it's very natural looking especially for those of you that don't want to wear full coverage great to wear to work to university to college to school because it doesn't have that obvious look under the eyes as for example something that is full coverage like this one does it gives a really nice natural finish it doesn't crease under the eyes it doesn't move it doesn't budge it stays in place up until i remove it at night i've been using the airbrush bronzer by charlotte tilbury my shade is in number two medium i've been using this quite a lot ever since this came out and that's the reason why it's obviously got a big empty space in the middle but it is refillable so once this finishes i can use it again um, i'm using this to contour my face right now for me personally it's a very large lovely uh, contouring shade nice mix of cool as well as warm tones so it's great for me to carve out my face airbrush flawless finish like the name suggests it doesn't move it doesn't go patchy and it stays on my face all day and the fact that it is so large and i've had this ever since it first came out was it last year or the year before look at how much i've got through obviously i use other ones as well but this is one that i always reach for and i've used this quite a lot over the month of january another charlotte tilbury product this is the pillow talk beautifying face palette and my shade is in fair medium i've been using this loads i don't know if you can tell from over here but there's a pretty big dent in this highlighter or this pinky pale one over here so we've got two blushes we've got like a dusky rose shade and then a bright pop of pink and then we've got a kind of a golden sort of highlighter and then a light pinky sort of shade to go with that whole pillow talk theme i love the quality of these very very intensely pigmented the highlighters give a beautiful high shine metallic sheen to the face the powders themselves i've mentioned to you guys in the past that you do need to dig your brush in quite a bit however once you apply it to the face it comes up very heavily pigmented and looks stunning 
This blush right here is the NYX Sweet Cheeks Matte Blush and my shade is in Daydream. It's what I'm wearing right now. It is a beautiful, strongly coloured coral shade and I absolutely love the way that it performs on the face. It's affordable, lasts all day, so heavily pigmented. It would work amazingly on all skin tones and I just think that it looks gorgeous for summer as well as spring. Obviously it's January but Charlena doesn't care. She just wears whatever, whatever. Plus it matched my clothes so I love this the quality is excellent don't hate me you guys but again the Huda Beauty empowered eyeshadow palette I've been loving again throughout the month I just can't get enough of this funnily enough I'm not using it on my eyes right now I'm using some other Huda Beauty I think it's the emerald obsessions going way back that's what I'm using right now but this is what it looks like it's a great mix of warm and cool tones you've got shimmery shades foiled shades glitter shades it goes well with pretty much any look daytime nighttime wedding even if you want and that's the reason why I've been using it so much is because it's so versatile for so many different types of occasions now I wasn't the biggest fan of this to begin with which I mentioned to you guys this is the airbrush brightening flawless finish complexion perfecting eye and face micro powder my god what a long name and my shade is in fair medium but obviously it looks white and um, I didn't like it so much to begin with because I felt that it was white well it's white and when I put it on my face I think I was going in with too much of a heavy hand but now that I use a little bit less and it is what I'm wearing on my face it works beautifully it feels soft it feels airbrushed I mean my skin actually feels like velvet I don't want to like rub it off um, but I love the way that this keeps all my foundation in place all day it really locks everything in and makes me look brightened without me looking ashy these two new launches from Charlotte Tilbury, these are the Hollywood Glide Face Architect Highlighters. This colour is called Pillow Talk Glow and this one is called Champagne Glow. I have done a full review with swatches on my channel, feel free to check it out. I love these so much. I'm using Champagne Glow on my face right now. The longevity is absolutely excellent. The quality is amazing. The pigmentation is great. This comes in I think five different shades so so many people can enjoy this. I just love the way that it glides over the face. I mean obviously the irony that that's what it's called is Glow Glide because you glide it over your face and it applies like Silk, it lasts literally up until I remove it. It doesn't accentuate any texture on my face and I think the quality is excellent. Another new product you guys, this is the Maybelline Tattoo Brow Styling Gel. My shade is in medium brown I think. It doesn't say on here. It's medium brown. This you guys does not budge. It is the best styling gel I have ever used. I can rub my eyebrows for ages and it will not come off. Especially because of the fact that it is pigmented means that obviously you can carve out your eyebrows eyebrows like you normally would with a pencil etc and you don't have to worry about it coming off at all to the point where it's actually difficult to remove you have to use an oil-based makeup remover to take it off I don't actually use the spoolie um, that it comes with to apply to my eyebrows because I find it's too messy and I like to carve mine out so I use an angled brush to apply it directly from here onto my eyebrows and it sets literally within 60 seconds and you are good to go. Another new product by Maybelline is the Tattoo Liner Ink Pens. You guys know how much I love my Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Liner. Well, I found a more affordable version. This is absolutely excellent. It's what I'm wearing right now. It has got a felt tip nib similar to Anastasia Beverly Hills one, except the ABH ones is a little bit longer. However, this performs just as good it's not shiny it's got a satin sort of finish the nib itself bends easily to the contours of your eye you can create a nice flick as you can see on my eyes doesn't budge doesn't move i'm so happy with this i think it's amazing so many of you will love this especially because it's a more affordable version the urban decay all nighter setting spray does it even need an introduction it stops your makeup from shifting throughout the day Everything stays in place, everything is locked in. I've sprayed this on my face just now because I am on my way out for a night out. I don't need anything sliding, moving with the heat or the cold, runny nose and I keep doing this I've noticed. It keeps everything locked in amazingly. So you guys know how much I love the Maybelline Superstay Vinyl Inks, right? So <laughs> the nude range finally hit the UK, albeit two of them have not been released, I don't know why. So I got all eight of them and I love every single one of them. Again, the quality is excellent. 
I think every single one of these shades works amazingly for brown skin tones because obviously I've tested them all out on myself. So for those of you who are not aware of what these are, basically they're glossy liquid lipsticks that don't budge. So for those of you that are like me and who's always liked wearing gloss but it bleeds and it feathers, you can now finally have glossy lips that don't do that. They last upwards of 12 hours, they stay pigmented, the gloss does wear down slightly as the day goes on but they are pretty much transfer proof and the gloss pretty much remains throughout but the colours always there. I am going to do a full lip swatch video for you guys um, of all eight of these at some point but for now let me just go through the ones that I bought. So we've got this shade here called Fearless, Peppy which is one of my favourites, Keen which is a gorgeous colour, Palest one is called Captain Activated, still works against my skin tone. This should be the colour Awestruck, but I seem to have picked up Koi by accident, but Awestruck is basically a deeper version of this. Extra, Golden, and then my overall favourite, which is called Punchy. I love them. For regrets, should be no surprise, these two by Maybelline, which are the Superstay up to 24 hour hybrid powder foundations i hate them i done a review on them i told you i hate them gave them a five out of ten doesn't give me enough coverage makes me look cakey if i apply too much to get that coverage and as soon as anything touches it it comes off really rubbish products let's now move on to skincare the first thing is the green tea fresh cleanser by isn't tree it leaves a really nice moisturized finish onto my face which is almost unheard of when it comes to cleansers fresh green tea is great for people that have got acne prone skin and i tend to use this every morning oh this one you guys look at it it's half finished i've not even had it that long this is the tm vita b5 toner contains panthenol as well as hyaluronic acid it basically hydrates and nourishes your skin we are at that point of the year where everything is still cold 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 even right now i'm feeling cold my skin is very very dry because of the cold and i've got normal to combination skin so i've literally been pouring this on my face and my skin has been drinking it up this in combination with this is excellent in the morning in particular but i also tend to use this at night really hydrates the skin and sinks in beautifully leaving a lovely soft finish and it absorbs really fast as well another toner i've been using which is not a new product but it's been sat in my collection for a while is the i'm from rice toner this one is very very popular and i can totally see why this is another toner which is very very nourishing and actually leaves a slight glow on the face that's not a greasy kind of glow at all it actually contains very specifically 77.78 percent of rice extract and what that does is brighten your skin and it also nourishes and hydrates the skin again great to use for the winter months this little guy here is the beauty of joson revive serum ginseng and snail mucin so this is great for repairing your skin helping with damaged skin i also tend to use this in the morning i've almost got through half of it another excellent excellent serum for daily use for all skin types uh, the i'm from mushroom collagen ampule now i love the cream as well but i have noticed that i've been using this one more this one is excellent for anti-aging for nourishing the skin hydrating the skin i tend to use this at night just because it has got a slightly heavier feel than other kind of daily kind of daytime sort of ampules but i love the fact that my face feels so hydrated after using it also because i'm 40 years old i'm aware of the fact that i am aging so i want to minimize and prevent any kind of signs of aging that may happen i've also lost quite a lot of weight recently i don't know if you guys can tell so i'm also conscious of the fact that i don't want to look haggard as I've lost weight and this one definitely meets that mark for me. The Revectin Skin Essentials Activating Treatment Lotion. I also use this every morning after I've used this one right here. This as it says is a water gel type of lotion but it's like an ampule almost which optimizes your skin condition for the next step of moisturizing and nourishing. Plant derived formula is developed to soothe, moisturize and refine your skin without any kind of irritation. It contains things like niacinamide, adenosine, caffeine, sodium hyaluronic, allantoin. It contains so many different things that have got amazing different types of properties. So this is one of those all round kind of toners. It's too thick to be a toner, but it's also kind of not an ampule. I also use this every morning. It really nourishes the face. The fact that it's got niacinamide means that it helps with my pores as well. The fact that it contains caffeine, which means it helps with puffiness. 
This is a new product. This is by Beauty of Joe Son. This is the Red Bean Water Gel. You can see I've used about that much of it. I use this every single morning without fail because it's a gel moisturizer. It sinks into the skin like water. This is just a great everyday kind of moisturizer which really perks up my skin, leaving it looking nice and refreshed. And the fact that it sinks in so fast is great for people like me that are always in a hurry first thing in the morning to get to work. I've raved about this product to you guys quite a lot. This is the Bellflower our vitamin C 20% serum so it contains 20% ascorbic acid that's its main ingredient so for those of you that have got hyperpigmentation dark marks uh, you suffer from post inflammatory pigmentation as a result of spots definitely use this if your skin is already accustomed to using vitamin C I've noticed the lightening of my hyperpigmentation the lightening of my scars on my face as well yes it has got that typical vitamin C kind of slightly greasy sort of feel and that's the reason why I generally tend to use it at night but I absolutely love this stuff and I think it's yeah it's about half finished I'd say I've rediscovered the wishful honey whip peptide moisturizer it contains honey it contains niacinamide it contains peptides it is an amazing moisturizer to use i use this every single night it's actually nearly finished because i bought this when it first came out at the beginning of last year but then obviously i moved on to other products as well smells amazing smells like honey this is one of my favorite products from the brand wishful i'm very funny about that brand some of their things i think are quite good others not so good but this is really hydrating nourishing reparative my skin feels soft and smooth after using this it's great to use in the daytime as well as the nighttime and i've definitely noticed how nice and nourished my skin feels after using this when i wake up in the morning because of the fact that the weather is so cold right now last product is this sunscreen right here here, this is the VT Sika Essence Sun SPF 50 PA Quadruple Plus. I've been using this every single day since the beginning of the month. It really leaves a nice satin finish on the face and it just absorbs really nicely. It contains Sika, so that means that it soothes and calms the skin, especially when it's so irritable at this time of year. And obviously, no white cast. So that's it for my January 2023 beauty and skincare favorites. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment, make sure you subscribe to my channel and I'll see you all soon. Bye.